Thank you so much for your love and support. Today we are back with another question, mock question that is a priority class, which in regards with the priority class. So if you are not aware about the priority class, there is one lecture of priority class in our playlist. You can go through it. So you can understand priority class well. I'll just brief about the priority class. What is it and how it works? So I'll go to the Kubernetes. I'll type priority class there i will find priority class so just i'll copy this file via priority.ml i'll paste it okay priority class okay it is having high priority girlfriend okay i'll say it and once again i will create a priority so here i will it okay two less okay so low second or i can i can say it's a backup backup girl so i'll save it i apply both and this one two priorities are created two priority classes are created so i'm making this uh, i will make this this is one priority class and this is another priority class k get priority class so this is the user defined priority class because it is the system defined priority class so don't check the priority of this these are two which is of our concern okay so this is one and the name is now i will make two pods and in one this priority and with one this priority okay and we'll make enough resources so that uh, only one pod can survive so where is the pod file okay via pod1.ml i'll paste uh, resources okay so i'll make it 400 so that two pod can be easily now priority class name uh is high priority gf wfq and similarly cp pod1.yml pod2.yml yml and uh, via pod2.yml and now here i will backup have fun chief and okay so wq okay name i will choose it as high priority index backup girlfriend b a c k backup hyphen gf and for pod1 it's a gf now control l k get priority plot pod priority class sorry so here are two classes and now i will be apply iphone app to so sorry uh this means these two files pod1 and pod2 is get got created okay this was already created so no issue now k get pod so both is running backup girlfriend this is priority and this is priority now what i will do i'll make one another i'll just x i'll just maximize it Tmax. So Tmax. Control B. Control B. Control B. The percent. Yes. Now K pod. K get pod. Pod hyphen W. Okay. Now uh, uh now I'll here create one another girlfriend pod. Backup girlfriend pod. Okay. K apply hyphen F pod two dot YAML. Sorry, I will change one name or pod name to i'll backup girl name backup girlfriend hyphen one i hyphen one so i'll apply once again okay pending we'll see this got in pending state okay because no resource is available but i'll pod one i'll create pod one dot yml here i will name it girlfriend one so resource is not available look what happened look here look terminating 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 backup girlfriend terminated okay and now give girlfriend one running okay if you see i'll refresh it control c control b control c and control l now this backup is in pending and girlfriend one and girlfriend two is running means what is happening here uh what is happening here pod is created this is backup gf created okay high priority ky iphone gf back gf is created pod of gf is created gf is created okay this is a lower priority this is a higher priority okay it is nothing with the name it is with the number okay if this name is anything its name is low priority but this number is greater than this number then this is the highest priority okay so uh so now i'm creating this pod but this pod goes in the pending state because resource is not available now i start creating this pod so this pod is terminated and in this running pod got terminated and new pod gf1 
is created and working fine. So the highest priority pod get must be running as far as resource are constant. If resources are available, every pod will work and will run. But if resources are constant, then priority wise pod will run. Same with the deployment. Here again, I will, if I will create one pod again, then it will not work because resources are not available with us. Uh, if you can check, control C, K, get, K, describe, node, node, zero, one. So here you will find, so K, get, node node sorry k describe node node zero one so you'll find so i'll k get nodes node zero one k describe node so here you'll find uh this 800 is already taken so means only 75 is left so we cannot run one more pod with the 400 core cpu so milli core cpu so i'll clean this environment and uh i think you same it with the deployment if so uh, i'll refresh this so that everything gets clean generate a priority class name urgent priority for urgent workloads setting up 10 less than the highest current uh, user defined policy uh, user defined priority class value pass the deployment mysql writer in data in the database namespace to use the urgent priority class and verify the successful rollout okay uh whatever the uh, question ask you have to do it so uh will here this deployment is mentioned means mysql writer is already there so we need to create the mysql writer uh, deployment but uh, we have to patch it so we earlier we won't create it with the priority with the priority so we need to create a namespace database based we need to create uh deployments without the mentioning that uh, classes okay so just copy and paste it so control l k get pods okay k get deployments sorry control a control k a hyphen and database get deployment apps so this two of two mysql writer is i need to patch in okay i had to patch this writer okay so i'll make a little changes i'll a delete iphone app okay delete deployment and mysql this is what happened first you have to write namespace iphone and database deployment apps and then mysql writer so get the uh, so now this redis is running i need to change little changes in this uh, so that uh, first you have to make a radish cache and then mysql writer don't worry it will update it you need not worry for that next time whenever you create uh, it will work for you copy just copy paste now if you'll see uh, that uh, a hyphen and database uh, get deployment apps so mysql writer is not running but this pod is running you need not worry for that which is running or which is not running you have to focus on the question so i need to create uh, one user defined uh, is also there so one priority class is also there uh, so let's say i create one priority class i'll just uh, make priority class okay now our answer is start k get priority class priority class so here this is the user defined policy uh, priority so what happened setting that that means you have to generate a priority class name urgent priority so i need to create a pri urgent priority class okay and uh, setting the value 10 less than the highest priority class in the user defined this is the system defined don't touch it uh, you have to minus 10 from this so this will become uh, minus 10 so 99999 okay so one, two, three, four, five, five, nine, and zero. So create it. So just Kubernetes.io search priority class. So what priority? Now just copy this file via argent.yml. You can name it anything, but name something logical that you won't forget. So you can write a description. I won't re recommend much uh, longer description. So priority class shift D W. So this will remove all uh, from there. And in now I mean insert mode and this priority less than 10 UD 
पी सी लेस देन यू डेड डिफाइंड प्रायोरिटी क्लास ओके सो इसके डब्ल्यू क्यू एंड देन बट बी ए फॉरगेट समथिंग दैट वी हैव नॉट चेंज द नेम सो यर नेम इज अर्जेंट प्रायरिटी सो कॉपी पेस्ट आई एम यू राइटिंग हियर बट यू शिड कॉपी पेस्ट नो टाइप ओ प्लीज अर्जेंट यू आर जी ई एन टी ओके स्केप डब्ल्यू क्यू एंड के अप्लाई हाइफन एप अर्जेंट ओके नाउ के गेट प्रायरिटी क्लास सो अवर प्रायरिटी क्लास इज क्रिएटेड वाई दिस इज हाई प्रायरिटी नो ओ सॉरी वी हैव नॉट चेंज द नेम सो लुक के डिलेट प्रायरिटी क्लास अर्जेंट प्रायरिटी ओके सो कंट्रोल एल नाउ के गेट प्रायरिटी क्लास इज के वाया प्रायरिटी सो दिस इज नॉट अवर प्रायरिटी क्लास फाइल वाया सो यू हैव टू वन माइनस मीन्स नाइन 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 वन टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव नाइन 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 जीरो सिक्स नाइन सो फाइव नाइन एंड वन जीरो सो के अप्लाई एफ एन एफ सो के गेट पॉलिसी प्रायरिटी प्लॉ पॉड क्लास सो हियर यू विल सी दिस नंबर इज हियर ओके सो हियर पैच द डिप्लॉयमेंट माई स्किल राइटर इन द डेटाबेस नेम स्पेस डेटा बेस नेम स्पेस टू यूज द अर्जेंट प्रायरिटी क्लास ओके सो वी है के गेट डिप्लॉयमेंट हाइफन एंड डेटा बेस सो आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट फर्स्ट ऑलवेज गेट बैकअप एंड चेक वेदर द बैकअप इज ऑलरेडी देयर विथ यू एंड सॉरी हियर रॉन्ग बैकअप के गेट डिप्लॉयमेंट है hyphen and database that name mysql server hyphen o ml always keep practice of checking it because here i had done mistake but unfortunately if you by mistake and not check then at the time of uh, crash backup will not available to you so be careful always check so i will check cat mysql dot ml so yes it is there now second backup Control L, delete. So radish cache. So cache hyphen O Y M L. Okay. Because sometimes we forget something and take backup and radish dot Y M L. L radish P C dot Y M L. Okay. Now both backup is available. So if something goes wrong with the deployment, we can recreate it and we can uh, work. So ah uh, now I have to patch my SQL writer. So you can use patch command. <coughs> so first uh, you need to check where the priority pod is so if you scroll down so you will get uh, pod priority class is there priority pod so is in container spec section so in in template and then spec so cat redis dot backup sorry control l cat in which you have to patch that we have to patch in mysql writer so just above you will find that template spec replicas to template labels mysql spec so in spec section high priority pods is there so you can just copy till here copy control l i'll just comment it so that i can use and uh, now so you can write kubectl hyphen and database then deployment sorry patch then deployments deployments then mysql writer then press this no issue then hyphen p then here you single quote curly braces and from here you just copy but before that you should go here and just press hash so that it won't execute it until you fully prepare with for it press so here here you want priority class name just go to the sheet and here is the priority class name copy it paste it and here you paste urgent priority it is not much uh, tough but you are seeing it because and the thing which not required remove it from here until template you go do it little slow whatever time it takes but if the question get right at once then it's very good so template so here you put a bracket then template then you don't need this 
okay now you can go to the spec section till here so your file look like this curly braces then spec in code and then template and then colon then spec in a code then priority clause and you know how many brackets one two three and four so press one is already there two three four and just press one so now i'll remove this and patch now check controller get deployment apps hyphen and database so earlier my sql was not running but it's running now or k get pods hyphen o and hyphen and database so hyphen w so this this goes in the pending state and it's a 42 second so it is terminated uh, sorry it was terminated and uh, restarted and then it is in pending state so because of high priority this pod get evicted and turning but don't too much bother about it only do the step because this is the automatic step if uh, this is done right then it will because it all depend on how many resources are created you won't bother about this pod eviction or not okay so here you will see in if uh, look this reddish is their deployment and then mysql zero okay but now if you'll see mysql is running so this is the power of high priority means priority classes so uh, there is a good uh, uh, resources already uh, available uh, in our playlist uh, so just watch it and enjoy thank you so much for your love and support once again if you find any mistakes in the tutorial because i am doing it uh, in very hurry so keep me noted thank you so much